How you doing, everyone? Today, we're going to take a quick look at Black Adam, the latest movie in the DCEU, or I guess it's just the DCU now, whatever they're calling it, directed by Jaime Colet Serra and starring Dwayne Johnson, Aldous Hodge, and Pierce Brosnan. Thousands of years ago, in the small nation of Kandak, a slave named Teth Adam was bestowed with great powers by the wizards, similar to young Billy Batson, and he used those powers to overthrow the king and free the people at the cost of his own life. Then we fast forward to modern day Kandak, which is now oppressed by a criminal organization known as Intergang. Archaeologist and freedom fighter Adriana, played by Sarah Shahi, resurrects Teth Adam, and he proceeds to start busting heads. While the people of Kandak are very happy to have their champion back, it does not sit well with Amanda Waller, who sees Black Adam as a potential threat and sends in the JSA to deal with it. But the JSA may have another problem in the form of an ancient artifact that could resurrect a powerful demon. Judging by the reaction from most critics, I probably like this better than most. I would not go so far as to call it a good movie, necessarily. It's doing a lot of things wrong, but at least when it does stuff wrong, it has the good sense to be entertaining. The story is a bit thin. It's your basic superhero plot. There's a thing, and the bad guy wants the thing. The good guys have to stop the bad guy from getting the thing, because if he gets the thing, he's going to do bad things with the thing. There's also a colonization angle with the mostly white intergang, which is a bit heavy-handed, especially since they're called intergang, which, man, if you're trying to hide the fact that you're running a criminal organization, maybe calling it intergang, not the best option. I know that's what they were called in the comics. I know. Doesn't make it any less silly. They did make some bizarre decisions. Uh, as many of you probably know, Black Adam was originally supposed to be the villain in Shazam. Uh, that ended up not happening because they thought it would be better to give him his own movie first, which on the one hand I kind of get, but it is a little weird to see this character that is obviously connected to Billy Batson. He even uses the exact same magical word to activate his powers, Shazam, and yet no Billy Batson. Also a little weird to pair him up with the JSA before they even had the chance to have their own movie. And it's not entirely clear what Teth Adam's motivations are after his resurrection, and it seems like it even takes the movie a little while to figure that out. Adriana San Amon, played by, I hope I'm saying this right, Bodhi Sabungui, makes frequent use of a skateboard, even and especially when it makes no sense to do so. There is really no reason to use a skateboard at all when you're inside an apartment building and have to traverse multiple flights of stairs. Like, the kid literally puts down his skateboard, skates about 50 feet, picks it back up, walks down a flight of stairs, puts it down again, skates a little more, picks it up, walks down more stairs. This happens more than once. Kid, just pick up the skateboard and run. You'll save time. You can start skating when you get the fuck outside. Another weird decision made by this movie, we are shown early on that Black Adam can be harmed by a substance called Eternium. The movie doesn't really attempt to explain what Eternium is, where it came from, how any of the bad guys got their hands on it, or why it hurts Black Adam, and indeed, after we see it used on him shortly after he's resurrected, it is never brought up again. What the hell was the point? That's where the movie kind of stumbles, but there are a few places where it succeeds. The action sequences are pretty well done overall, uh, at least when they do not involve a skateboard, and they are a lot of fun to watch. Seeing Teth Adam effortlessly mow down an entire squad of goons as soon as he wakes up was very satisfying. And the new superheroes that were introduced, or at least new to the DCU, are pretty awesome, and the performances were very good. Dwayne Johnson was perfect for this role. I don't think I can picture anyone else playing Black Adam. And I kind of like the little friendship that develops between him and Amon. Amon is a huge comic book super fan, and he's trying to teach Teth Adam how to be a proper superhero. You gotta have a catchphrase, very important. It's, in a way, kind of reminded me of the Terminator and John Connor. And we have the four members of the JSA who all brought their own stuff to the table. Hawkman is the leader and badass of the group, and is at least strong enough to hold his own against Black Adam. Dr. Fate is the wise old mentor of the group with various magical powers, and I really dug the friendship between him and Hawkman. It felt genuine. Cyclone, who's played by Quintessa Swindell, is probably the most graceful superhero we've ever seen in the DCU. She has wind-related powers and flies through the air like a colorful, super-powered ballerina. And finally, we have Adam Smasher, played by Noah Centineo, who is the rookie of the group. His superpower is he gets real big. 
Simple but effective. And as the young rookie, he occasionally screws up, much to the annoyance of Hawkman, which was very funny. And they do a very good job of making him annoying to Hawkman without making him annoying to the audience. And we do have a few cameos. I'm not going to spoil any of them, but I will say for the one that shows up in the mid credit scene, I was happy to hear that theme again. Although I'm not entirely sure what this means for the future of Black Adam, I was hoping their next step would be to pair him up with Shazam, but now I'm not so sure that's the direction they're going. Overall, it's not the best I've seen from the DCU, but certainly not the worst either, and in the end, I had fun. And if you want to see The Rock bust some heads, it's at least worth a matinee. And that's all I have to say about Black Adam. Till next time, take care.